a new motorsport has taken flight. This is drone racing, a thrilling spectacle driven by technological skills and quick reflexes. Basically, um, pilots will wear their goggles, which shows them the life feed of their drones, and they will fly their drones around an obstacle course. It's quite a picking up spot, I would say, in Malaysia, because it has been around since like mid-2017, 18, maybe, but Cyberview has recently launched their Drone Hub Innovation for Future Talents uh, last year, 2024 and Futurize launched their national uh, strategic roadmap for the drone industry. I think through that, they introduced drone racing as a thing. The indoor uh, FPV drone racing, they use tiny whoops, so it's very small drones, and they fly indoors, so usually they fly it with neon lights and stuff. Whereas the outdoor one, they will do it in a open space, like a field, a school field, and there will be obstacle course where they use 5-inch racing drones to fly around. Those drones are slightly bigger, but uh, they don't have guards. So tiny woods, they have guards that protect the propellers, whereas 5-inch uh, racing drones, they don't have the guards, which if you crash and burn, uh, it costs more money to repair. La. For her cover story, Grace spoke with underground KLFPV drone racing Malaysia founder Vicky Parati, Drone for Speed Racing founder Lau Yok Wee and UTM's Dr. J. Suman Puspanathan, who are spearheading efforts to unify Malaysian drone racing, foster a sustainable ecosystem and cultivate new talent in both racing and event management. Grace highlighted Vicky's creation of a free open-source drone configuration and cloud-based scoring platform, saving racers 2,000 ringgit and letting them focus on racing instead of costs. These initiatives are bolstering the local scene, which features rising stars like Nora Risha Zuraidi. She is the first Malaysian female FPV drone racer to be in the top 10 uh, drone racing pilots in the 2024 World Drone Racing Championship. So that was a big thing because she's actually only 17. Yeah, but she has a lot of support from her dad, which is encouraging to see, but her dad is also... Mr. Zuraidi actually is very involved in drones himself too because he is actually an instructor for... Centre for Instructor and Advanced Skill Training. So the agency is actually under the Ministry of Human Resources, so they specialise in training up uh, instructors in TVET. Mm -hmm. So the father really, really trains her, I think, four times, four times a week. Uh, so they will go through trainings almost a few hours just to train her flight, train her agility, her speed. And, but she's having SPM this year, so she's taking it back a little bit. Lah.